Welcome everybody to the Dice Tower. I'm Tom Kirby Vassell. I, I'm Joey Evans. <laughs> I'm Roy Roy Kennedy. And I'm Z Kubert Garcia. Yeah, oh, come on, guy. Come on. I had the most time. Roy is a character in a game that may or may not be on my list. <laughs> All right, we're talking about top 10 video games. And of course, even though we're not in the video game industry and do not play the thousands that come out each mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. still could have done a top 100, probably. Oh, yeah. I was video games? Easily. I was mad the amount of games that I had to cut off my list. I kept yep. being like, ah. What I want it on there. I was yeah. too. And no one would give me any like guidance on this, by no. the way. No, Nobody's you, talking. What Something do you like want that? guidance? What do you mean? Tell you oh, what we the do all time? You want to tell you what your favorite video yes, games are? All time. All time. So, all right, because yes. I'm, I'm curious about this because I'm like, I have no idea what's on their lists. Actually, I do feel Tom, like, I kind of feel like I'm I feel like any, I, I any talk one too much. of mine. Yes. <laughs> I do feel like any one of my entries. He's going to have more pixels than your entire time. <laughs> which is accurate. Here we go. Here we I go. tried to go the whole gamut, which I thought you were doing too, but no. Two things Joey can't do. Why can't you do that? Make a list. I'm not picking an old Grow video game. game. <laughs> just an experience. I'm not picking an old video game just because I enjoyed it when I was seven. That's true. Oh, I did. I enjoyed these. By the way, E.T., I played a lot. But when you got one cartridge for Christmas... You played that game. You got bad. that for it's Christmas? It's not very good. Hey, they liked the movie. They bought it for me. It was really bad. This How many not holes did you well fall into? The There's so many. It didn't make any sense, but you can it's float. Like, you can float if your neck went up. I don't know. It didn't make any sense. What? He's played that game. Like, he oh. got it for Christmas, mind you. I did. My and parents did not like me. I went to my friend's grandma's house and we dusted off the Atari and played it there. Right. So. <laughs> he, he did the OG way. I did. I Is did. he allowed to be here after that? <laughs> it was rough. Wait, do you see we my number video 10? video game shame here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be a lot of shame on my list. Just we have half of my list is one list. genre. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't help that. I have like three genres that I really like. RPG is the one genre. RPG is yep. one. Open world. Open world. And then simulations. Yeah, but don't, Sims. don't okay. open world and RPG kind of... They're kind of well, no. I mean like um, JRPG, I guess. Gotcha. It's okay. Okay, different yeah. than open world. Okay, okay. I don't have any JRPGs on my list. I'm really cool to that, on that genre, to be oh, fair. No. Oh, I did forget one that's probably my 11. What are we pointing at? I'm stunned Z to get out without the JRPGs. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're like right. JRPGs. Okay, I'm going to have my 11 will be a JRPG. Uh, I think there'll be at least a couple crossovers. F at least I think so. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's get started. I'm excited. All right, my number 10, I am not a fan of stealth games. I don't like hmm. I don't like okay. Splinter Cell. I don't like the Thief games. It's just like crawling through something. Everybody is better than you, literally everybody in that world. Like if you came across a grandma and she spotted you, you're done, you lost. I agree with you. I want to kill everything in sight. Uh, including? Grandma. Yeah. Uh, but. <laughs> Your grandma. Yes. However, having said that, if a game lets me be stealthy or go in guns blazing, then I try stealth a little bit. You know uh -oh. what I mean? It's kind of a weird yeah. thing. I'm like, All right. I don't have to do you this. You don't have to be told what to do. Right. Plus, if I mess <laughs> up, I'm like, ah, oh, you saw me. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, then then I'm, I agree. I do like doing that, too. And then you put that in a very cool world, and you get my number 10, Dishonored. Mm, okay. Dishonored is a fantastic... Moody, alternate history, stealth slash super powered mm. kind of game. I don't know if you guys have played it. Anybody? I have not. No. What systems is for? <laughs> uh, it's modern, so you can get it. Like I think I played on the Xbox 360 or one. I don't know. So in this one, you are. Um, it's a first person game. Okay. You are sort of given assassination missions that you are trying to fulfill in this world. And the world is very, again, it's like late 1800s <clears throat> London, but there's magic and there's it's sort of an alternate universe. Oh, interesting. There's these giant whales that they capture and need for oil or whatever. And you're, again, you're doing your thing in this town. And as you get powers, you get these abilities, you have some insanely cool powers. Oh, awesome. You can blink, they call it. Like, you can be on top of a building or on top of a gate or something. There's people below you, and so you can point it somewhere else and go and blink to there. Hmm. 
So you can escape very well, which is pretty cool too. If so you get seen, you can be like, blink, 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 and you're out of there. You can... Uh, it's summon, like Nightcrawler's ability almost. <laughs> yeah, you can summon a swarm of rats. You can like... There's all these crazy abilities. Uh, somebody says it's like Thief with magic. Oh, yeah, I remember it's thief. a little bit like that. Um, it's kind of cyberpunky, but not really. It's like steampunky, but not really. It's a very cool setting. Oh, that's cool. Works really well. Great weapons. Great moody gameplay. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I think it holds up. And it spawned a series now where they have part two uh, and a couple of spin offs. So, yeah. Uh, Dishonored hmm. is awesome. Nice. Hmm. I think you're good right. Good graphics. All right, speaking oh, of good... Oh, here we go. Is that what you're oh, we're, about? We are bookending this here, folks. Oh, jeez. All right. Are these chronological? Hey. Oh, no. I'm trying to go over 10. Is, this is e. actually the yeah. <laughs> Hey, Hey, no, no. E.T. was way too new for this. This is one that I spent way too much time as a kid playing. And Pong. for me, no, it is not that old. But this one I did enjoy. This is the OG of first-person shooters. Okay, Wolfenstein. so Doom... No, before Doom, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein okay. 3D. Aww. Wolfenstein's in my top 20. Is I'm it? with you. Yes. This That's one, awesome. for I some reason. I did play out of Wolfenstein. Oh, I loved this game. Oh, jeez. There's something about this. I remember my parents would not let me play it. They're like, you can't shoot people. I'm like, they're Nazis. And my mom was like, okay. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I remember that conversation as a kid. She's like, it's allowed. I was definitely not allowed to play this, but I played the... <laughs> Chex Quest, which was like on the same engine, but you were the Chex guy, like stabbing what? cereal. <laughs> yeah. Now, That's let me ask you this. Stick. Did you play the full game or did you only have the shareware version? I had the shareware version. No, I, no, I understand. <laughs> okay. Did you play the full I one? Like, well, I finally got to college and I got the full one. I was so excited. <laughs> and there's even a secret level with Pac Man. Oh, no. Awesome. Rod, really? Yeah. I've never heard of that. Oh, I want to do that. <laughs> but the thing that blew my mind, the first time I, I played Wolfenstein on a, I got a, a PC, a Tandy, I think, and yeah. I didn't have a sound card, so it was just all beeps and buzzes. Mm -hmm. And then I bought a sound card, and when the first time you hear the guard yell at you in German, I was like, oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's, also, I love, I still think it's hilarious, the plates of food on the ground. Like a full, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. A full dinner. Oh, everywhere, like dinners. in every room you walk into, they were having a buffet in that room. <laughs> yeah, leave it right there. Oh, and you could find your doors. <sighs> yeah, I mean, all oh, the secret se doors. Secret so doors. Satisfying. It was so good when you yes. found those. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yes. that was good. So that's my number 10, Wolfenstein 3D, which doesn't mean what you think it does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my number 10 is uh, a fighting game, but this is basically all of the Nintendo characters fighting each other, and this is Super Smash. Smash Brothers. Um, I put Ultimate on here as a Switch version just because it has so much stuff and so many different characters that you can go against. I don't even think you can keep track of the characters. Really? There's so many in this game. And I That's mean, I didn't lot. do all the DLC and download all the extra characters, but I remember playing this on uh, a lot of the <laughs> older versions of this as well, like playing it on the GameCube and playing it on the, the 64 and things like that. Um, but I really enjoy Super Smash Brothers just because it, it's one of those interesting games where it's a fighting game. But you have to just knock each other off the map yeah. to actually knock them out. So their percentage goes up higher and higher, and then you hit them. And just it's just fun playing with all the different like Nintendo property characters, and they added in all sorts of different stuff. Like they have yeah. characters from basically every video game you can play with. Link, I remember when Sonic Zelda. showed up; it was like such a it's oh, huge yeah, deal. I know. Like the movie trailer, like Sonic is entering. Right, and now they have yeah. like you can play as Game and Watch. You know, all sorts of crazy characters and stuff like that. It's a blast to play. And this is a great like couch game to play with like a bunch of people at the same oh, time. the newest you know? characters. My yeah. kids were just telling me about them. I was like, I, it was another weird crossover. The Lion King. My, my, my college, <laughs> oh, my college kids great. came home and everything and this was this is the crossover game that the whole family right. This and Mario yeah. Kart oh, yeah. are the two games that everyone mm -hmm. plays because even if you don't know how to play, you're like, oh, you'll, you'll, win it. And you'll, you'll do okay. Yeah. And one of the cool things is there's so many different items you can grab, mm -hmm. like grab a Pokeball and throw it and like watch the Pokemon blast somebody off the screen. It's just cool to see all the different items, all the different stuff, all the different modes of play. I've had a blast with Super Smash Brothers, and that's why it's my number 10. Yeah, I like that one. This would definitely make my top 10 of like games I like to play with other people. Yeah. Right. For sure, because mm -hmm. it yeah. is one of the best for that. And I you, agree. it's easy to say, okay, Okay, whoever wins stays in, and then the other three switch out with the next yeah, three. Yeah. It's a great party yep. room atmosphere. Mm -hmm. For sure. My number 10 is the oldest on my list, and I really struggled because I had two games that actually came out in the same year that vied for the spot. And finally Interesting. Picked, one of them is on my list in a different version, so I picked this one. And this is Super Metroid. Ooh, so okay. Super Metroid, now I... 
I think I'm hearing rumblings that the upcoming Metroid is like a sequel to this one because they went 3D for a while. I had no. But well, there's a new Metroid that. that came out not that long ago that was like lauded as being really good. Yeah, I have not played that one yet. Yeah. So this one, mm -hmm. man, do I love this game. <clears throat> I. This is a genre that I like a lot, which I don't know what it's called. It's the Metroid style games, actually. Metroid Metroidvania. Metroid Metroid Metroidvania is, yeah, Super Metroid or Metroid and then Castlevania. Yeah. They're similar. So Spoiler, none of the Castlevanias them, made my list. They're putting them together, yeah. But I do like this genre. I like the whole idea of going through, then mm -hmm. finding something and saying, wait a minute. I go all the way back to the beginning. I saw that block there that I can do this thing. Yeah. I love it. But this one tracking's the best. This one was great and whenever you came across a Metroid, they were scary as all get out. No all the way to the end. Yeah. And then very satisfying to beat. And this is the only game I tried to speed run in my life. Oh wow. For I don't know, I just wanted to see if I could do it. Did you do it? I did. Really? I did. Wow. How's your time? No, no, close your time. <laughs> that I don't I don't remember. <laughs> I you just got I just Check his to Twitch say, oh, stream. You think she takes a suit off and you're like, she's a woman, wow. You know, I remember that whole thing. I was like, I'm, I'm going to pull yeah. that off. Mm. And that's the only time I've done it. But I really, I, man, this one is very evocative. I, I like... Nostalgic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I need to... I do need to play the new one. I don't know why the I have The new one, you got to get on that. I'm surprised. Yes, I did like play Castlevania Symphony Night, because you know what? I never played all the way through that game. I'm surprised that you're that into Metroid. <laughs> And you haven't tried the new Switch one, yeah. I heard lots of good things. You know what it is? Because I don't really play much on the Switch these yeah, days. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The kids sense. have taken it. Maybe, is it out for Steam? I don't well, know. I doubt it. It's a Nintendo yeah, property. Yeah, you're right. It's a Nintendo so. property. Yeah, but it's all intermingled He's, now. I like to play Samus and uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smash. Right. See, bringing it around, bringing it around. All right. Of course, almost all our games could fit on Roy's and Smash Bros. Yes. Yes. That's right. true. That's my number 10. All right, my number nine is, this is gonna be, this, we're gonna hear from this character a little later, I'm sure. My number nine is a Zelda game. It's my favorite Zelda mm -hmm. game. It's the only Zelda game on the list. It's not the one oh, you're wow. thinking of, because I haven't played that much of it, actually. Oh, wow. I've played some, but I haven't, like, dedicated myself to playing <clears throat> just Wait. Breath of the Wild. Okay, so it's one of the Zelda games. It's one of the Zelda games. It's a little bit of a... And, and you're too young to do the NES one, which is... Not the I NES. Mean, is this uh, Majora's Mask, or...? It's not Majora's Mask. It's not the other obvious one, actually, either. This is one of the ones that doesn't get a lot of love, but I thought it was wonderful. Ocarina? Ocarina, Ocarina is the other one that gets a lot of love. I thought you were going Breath of the Wild. Okay, but okay. Yeah, it's Breath of the Wild, Ocarina are the top two. No one ever debates that. No! No, the Super Nintendo one is amazing. I'm sorry, I, I will I will fight on the court. That one is a great game. Mm, I think the top two normally are those two, though. I don't care what people say. I do what I want. You can't do that, okay? You need okay, to be a Okay, never follower. mind. You're right. You're right. Sorry. My number nine is Wind Waker. Ooh. Ooh. You're right. You are the only one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I hate this art style. I can't get past I it. I really. love this art style. The cell shading on this really holds up. What was this on? This was on GameCube. GameCube. Okay, yeah, I can see So that. Wind Waker, <laughs> for me... I, I, that's, that's, that's a GameCube. <clears throat> Wind Waker right is, again, it's one of the ones that not a lot of people like as much. The look was very divisive. I get mm -hmm. that. I think cell shading in video games helps a game age well. This uh -huh. is one of those things. It's not... I don't know what it is. It's just the decay of, of passage of time doesn't look as bad. Yeah. Like you can go back right now and play like Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set Radio Future, whatever. One of those is cell shaded. It's old. It looks amazing. Cell shaded games hold up. They look amazing. And this one I thought was very <coughs> whimsical, very cute. Mm. I did not. A lot of people hate the sailing around on the ship stuff. I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Sailing around, finding things up in the bottom of the ocean, pulling them up. Yeah. Um, all the characters in this style was kind of like going back to characters you knew, but they looked a little different. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, that's, oh, okay, I see. I loved it. I thought this was fantastic. The little cartoony touches really elevated it for me. So, yeah, my number nine, Zelda Wind Waker. This is my favorite one. I Again, I might change my tune when I play more Breath of the Wild, which I haven't played that much of. 
But I'm I, sorry, as I feel of very one month from now, uh, Breath of the Wild is all that. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, is that coming out that soon? It's that coming out, out May. May. Oh, believe yeah. me, my kids yeah. are the days are being counted. Yeah. If you don't okay. Think that's the reason that we're doing this list. Then you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Roy. That's part it's so of predictable, reason. Tom. Anyway, my number nine, Wind Waker. All right, I like it. All right, so mine is um, actually we're Zelda one on the NES. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think right. I we're going that. old school. We're actually going PC on this one, and this one is probably my least known Commander out Keen. of all of these. Commander Keen. No, this is my least known. This is one I played a lot. I think in high school, and it is a kind of a horror theme ghost. It's called Seventh Guest. Oh, and oh, wow. I played this <laughs> way <laughs> like the too play? much. <laughs> Growing up, I'm Jeez. telling you, this was my mist. This was I played. Did you? You've heard of this one that time? I it's played like this. Place. You yeah, played yeah. this one. This was the first. I played this because it was a CD-ROM. <laughs> yes, like, it was. There's a game on a CD-ROM, and oh. when you walk up this staircase, so there's a painting, true. and a hand pushes out, and I almost quit the game. Because <laughs> it scared me so much. Uh, my lights would have to... back and look at that now, you'd be oh, like, what? It's nothing. <laughs> I'd have to have my lights on and everything, because, I mean, these ghosts pop up, and you have to listen to conversations, and you're like, it's, it's scary. It's That's scary. That's awesome. This is... But you're right. The puzzles are just like Mist. Yes. I yep. played this before Mist, mm -hmm. yep. and then when I went back to Mist, I was like, I'd rather play Seventh Guest. I would too, because it's spooky. It's the puzzles with the spookiness. Mm -hmm. And they even did a board game on Kickstarter, or tried to. They didn't fund, I don't think. On oh, Seventh Guest. Do you remember that? that? Came out. No, it funded it. It did fund it. I reviewed it. it. Oh, Go no. watch it. Oh, yes. Was it great? It's one. Of, it's in the probably 10 worst games of all time. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> That's impressive. Oh, but the video game. I don't know how it holds up. I it does not. <laughs> <laughs> also, was, the story is terrible. That was, that was, notice that one graphic with the hand was the best picture I could find of some remastered 20th anniversary. Every other pic. picture this is great. was so bad. So that was, that was the one I would get made fun of the least, by the way. So, I'll tell you what, though. I do remember, even now, some of the puzzles, like the one where you put... The pieces on the board, and they change the colors of the yeah. things next to them, and you have to like fill the board perfectly. Yeah, yeah. just stuff like that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Point and click adventures. Yeah, that's what. Um, yeah, I like that. You pick this over like all the Lucas Art stuff. That's great. No, <laughs> that's coming. I'm sure it's coming. And it's, it's, we got some stuff. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. So my number nine is a game that I'm pretty sure you guys haven't played. It is a game with a well-known character, but this is not the game that people think of when they think of that character. This is Mega Man Legends. Mm. So this is a PlayStation game where you're Mega Man, but it's a 3D version of Mega Man where you're running around. It's kind of like post-apocalyptic. is as, that Mega Man? Yes. And you're all basically running around an island that is basically like, it's like Waterworld almost. And you're going in like delves, picking up different things to like upgrade his guns and fighting off all these different robots. It's got a really cool story and it's very <coughs> different. This is more like the Mega Man that you see in some other games sometimes, you know. But this is a, I, I love this game. I played through this one and the second version of it. I love the story in this game. It's fun with like Tron, Bok, Bone, Does it whatever, follow the stuff. Mega Man formula? Like if you beat a boss, do you get a power up that you can then use to fight other bosses? Um, It has not always because you basically you have like bits that you get like these different like artifact pieces and you'll upgrade and get stuff like that. But sometimes you would get that sort of thing. Like you get <clears> different <throat> weapons and different things. But mostly it was like a 3D like shooter game where you're going around blasting things. But it's mostly just different robots and stuff. Yeah. I had a blast with it. Lots of different story, lots of different things, but it was more like a role-playing game, or like an RPG, than like a normal uh, game. I don't know, you're not selling me on this one. I'm I... telling you, it's, it's, I'm telling you, nobody else is going to have this on their list, just because it's a very, like a, an old-school game, and it's just a product of the time, and this <clears> one <throat> I played, I had a blast with it. They made a, a Mega Man Legends 2, and it was a lot of fun. They also had this on the 64, I think. Um, I don't know this one. It's yeah. called Mega Man 64 when it was on that, but yeah, I don't think many people are going to know about this one, but I had, had a blast with it. Huh, okay. All right, put that one. My number nine is kind of a series because they're all, all three are essentially the same game, just they got a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And that is Simulation. That's the category, mm -hmm. and it's Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, that's I, a good one. If you're going to look, I like all the simulation <laughs> games. I like SimCity, I mm -hmm. like Sim Hospital, yeah. Sim Tower. Yeah, yeah. But my favorite thing to make is an amusement park. I love going to amusement parks, oh, and I like building them. And I will still go back and play. I don't know if I'd go back and play Roller Coaster 1 when I know the other two exist. Sure. But yeah. 2 is 
this is, I think, two, I think. This is one or two. This is, they, they look almost similar. Just, there was a slight upgrade. Three went into the 3D stuff. Mm. And now this game is gone, and there's other games that have taken up the mantle. Like, yeah, there's one on the PS5, I forget what it's called. But um, I don't know. <clears throat> I just like it. And yeah. I know I joke about making the roller coasters and, you know, shooting off and killing people, but that part is very minor to me. I like just seeing... I like manipulating the flow of people to my amusement parks. There's something about that, like putting the best mm. ride in that back corner just to see people just go da, 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 back there. And on the way, I'm selling you balloons and fries, and I'm putting extra salt in those <coughs> fries to force you to buy the drinks at the next stand. You can do that? Yeah, you can. Oh. That's hilarious. These are the ones I found out. You have to put trash cans so close together, or people just drop trash wherever people they People throw trash anywhere they want, <laughs> which is not accurate, because everywhere I've gone, people are very respectful. I know, but not I don't get this. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I just went to Walmart last night, and they need a trash can every five spots at that store. Wait, oh, wow. <laughs> um, but, I don't know. This one is, I like simulation games no matter what it is. I played mm -hmm. very boring Simulation games. I remember yeah. playing an automobile one back in the day. I don't care. I like the idea of running something, but my favorite is going to be running yeah. something I like, which is the amusement park. The zoo yeah. is good, mm -hmm. but you get to see the rides in roller coaster games. Right. You get to see them operate, especially the roller coasters. I created that, which is usually not true. I just download <coughs> them off the internet and use other people's. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So. That's cool. Sim golf? Is that a thing? Sim golf. I think you can make a golf course that there's yeah. sim everything. There is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. My number eight <laughs> is a game for the Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. Superman. This, this is another one that doesn't get, I think it's not as well known, but I loved it. And this is a game called Crimson Skies. High Road oh, wow. to Revenge. Really? Is this related to the board <laughs> game? Uh, yeah, they have a uh, miniatures game, I want to say, with this <coughs> theme. Yeah, an airplane. Oh, so oh, that's it's, crazy. Oh, it's interesting. I never knew there was like a video game right? of it. Or yeah, it's kind of like X-Wing, I think. I never played the video game. So this one is, well, it's it's a plane game, right? So, But there's a couple mm -hmm. of things that I really liked about it. It was really easy to fly. It was not like a, you know, a Microsoft simulator. Or, oh, my goodness, I can barely do this. It was very easy to do. So that's the first one. And two, it was Good. such a cool world. Because again, this was alternate history. The game happens in the 1920s. Your main character is an Indiana Jones-esque character in a world in which instead of the cars taking off, planes took off. And so, I like so that. there are Zeppelins, uh -huh. that's kind of like a bus. You know, like, that's your base of operations in this game is a Zeppelin. And everyone's got a plane. So, you you know, that's what you're doing. So you're a sky pirate, kind of. Okay. I've noticed that most <clears throat> alternate 1920s to 40s universes, Zeppelins play a pretty big part. They do. It's like a wish fulfillment. People it are like, is a man, very... I wish Zeppelins hadn't blown up. Zeppelins yeah. are very whimsical, right? That's what it is. So, and in this one, there's a lot of that. You're flying around, you're dogfighting, you are going on little missions, you unlock new planes in your Zeppelin hangar thing. That's cool. It's very neat. The graphic design is very cool with these planes and sort of, like again, again, the way they make them, they look period, but neat and modern. So I really, really enjoy this one. Um, is yeah. this your favorite flight simulator style game? Yeah, yeah. And you can still get this on like Xbox One. Oh wow. I think, Ooh. yeah, so. I've played it not that long ago, within maybe a year or two, and it, it's pretty good, it holds up. I don't play a ton like of this. This is not a genre. I, <clears throat> I played mostly X Wing Tie Fighter. Right, right. I played that one. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good game. Yeah, but yeah. This is fun. It's really neat. And again, the character is very you know, bravado, Indiana Jones kind of guy. Like, ha ha! I'm coming! And he jumps in the plane and takes off. It's very cool. <laughs> mm. I really like it. There you go. That's my number eight, Crimson Skies. Now right, let's go back in time. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Goat Simulator. <laughs> no, um, this one actually is a more modern you one. I'd say Oregon Trail because this is Oh my not. goodness. This one we Tom are going, this is where I thought Z was going with his number 10. When he's talking about stealth and all that stuff, because this is where I'm like, okay, this is, it's a genre, it's a series, the only one that, like I said, I have more time, uh, younger. This doesn't involve a box. No. What? I I was younger, I had more time, but now I have to choose the ones. And this one for me, it's the fourth one. It's Assassin's Creed Black Flag. 
Okay, and that's a modern game. It's a Joey? modern game. I do oh, play modern games, confused. but I'm focused oh, on Joey, when I do Joey. those. I don't think that's your pick. Oh, it's not my pick? Uh-oh, did I move Got around? Got out of order. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Oh, crap. We're going back back in time again. <laughs> <laughs> great, oh, Joey. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, folks, he's new to top ten lists. Oh, this is great. Oh. I hope this is the Forget my seven. All right, my... Hey, this one is actually one that I played in the arcade a lot. Ended up playing it at home. This one still holds up for me. I actually played it probably a couple weeks ago. Play it a lot. But this Pac is... Pac-Man. Here we no, go. No, this is, a, this is oh, a party style game. This is... He's on fire. NBA Jam. Tournament edition. Okay, I just played, okay, this. Oh, okay, I just played okay. this the other day. I do love this, this isn't game. So bad, yeah. Every time I think it's like ah, you Boom, know, shaka, shaka. it's just so good and so stupid and so just. <laughs> I mean, and then as they try to make the graphics better, it loses something. I just want to go this. I, I do do the big heads though. I will say that. But this game, man, to get the secret. Isn't there secret four? characters? Yes. When you do, when Isn't you do your initials, if you do your initials in certain things, you will unlock different characters. We will put them in there, and it's a lot of fun. This one. I played this on the N sixty four. I think quite a bit. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what. And I'm not a sports person, like video games, no. at all. No. This was like one of two or three I've NFL ever played. NFL Blitz? Did you do that one too? No. Okay. I See, like basketball. I agree. More. I like this one. It's just this one's a lot of dumb. Awesome. It's so the boom I mean, shaka laka thing. How high yeah. they jump and all that. Yeah, that one. This one just holds up. That's why I have four players a lot. Just this is good. Holds up in arcades and at home. Yeah, we just. I like this. We played this in Nashville. Me and. Um, Oh, really? You did? did you? I did not notice you did Me that. Me and Austin okay. were playing this. Yeah. You never played it before. And I was like, watch this. Yeah. I can jump all the way across the court. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is good. Oh, yeah, so my that's goodness. My number eight, NBA Jam, but tournament edition. But Bro, I bet you have no sports eight. games in your top ten. I have no sports games in any top ten. Um, but no. Um, no, I don't have any sports games on this, but I do have fighting games. This next one is a fighting game, another fighting game that has just a bunch of mashup of characters. I really enjoy fighting games where you just have... So many characters, it's insane. And this Super is, Capcom? This is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. One. I had a blast with this. I love all the Marvel characters yeah. and then having those Capcom characters thrown in there too so you can have all the Street Fighter people versus all of the X-Men is just crazy and awesome. The fact yeah. that you get three characters and you're switching them out like tag team style, <sighs> doing all sorts of crazy super moves, jumping all over the screen. I played so much Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and just had a blast Is this the one that has like 92 hit combos? Yeah. It has, like, yeah, like, yeah, Ones. Yeah, and then you charge your bar up, and you're like Unibeam, Berserker Barrage, this you know all that one. stuff. My team was uh, Wolverine, Cable, and uh, and Iron Man. I don't know why. I was just all That's like all Marvel. Marvel. That's not Marvel, 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 and really? just wrecking out. I mean, it was fun to play against all the different characters. I mean, sometimes I played with Mega Man and stuff like that too. But uh, yeah, I had a blast with this game. I love Marvel vs. Capcom too. This is a good one. But yeah, I know they've made other versions of it past then and stuff, but this was the one that I fell in love with, so. I want to ask if you have higher fighter games on your list, but I'll just wait. Mm. So I'm wondering. Yeah, that's two. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm like, okay. But you really like that genre, I didn't know. I do like okay. this one. I do too. Mm. All right. I'm going to get yelled at for having this one so low, um, but I don't care. It's Mario still a great something. game. It's in my top ten. And that is, well, Breath of the Wild. So okay. This one will be out in one month. <laughs> right, but... <clears throat> It's just a great game. It's the price is only eight. That's true. I just like the other seven yeah. games more. But I doubt it. That can move around. <laughs> While I was playing this, I will say that when I first played this, it was one at that point. Like, of course. There, like no other game. And oh, I actually remember this moment a lot. Um, it would be higher, I think. The breaking of weapons drives me nuts a little bit, and the, yeah. the lack of unique weapons. <clears throat> but still, it's the sense of exploration. The beauty, mm. the smoothness of the game. Sure. I've almost never run into a bug in this game. Yeah, mm. they, they, they polish it's, those things down. It's just such a fantastic game. Uh, just to get on your horse and ride around, and who cares? Mm -hmm. There's very few games I don't care, even if I'm fighting. Like this one, I can just ride around a horse and look at stuff. Um, I really like it. I like. There's certain spots of it that I really like. My One of my favorite experiences in this game is that one island you go to where you lose everything you have. Yeah, and you got to fight to get it all back. And I was like, "Oh, I hate this! I lost all my good stuff." But it, it was very satisfying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like that. This is just a great game. Mm. Great game. <laughs> Gave it a seven. I, I won't, yeah. I won't lie. I uh, definitely looked up a few shrines online because I could not figure them all out. But yeah. uh, but I, 
But I figured out a lot of them, and it feels really good when you do. You're like, yes. ah, or <clears throat> what I also liked about this game is one of the first games that was like, hey, you know what? This is what you're supposed to do to solve this, but you know, if you can figure out another way, go for it. I love that. Uh, for sure. Yeah. You know, that's <clears throat> fantastic. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. All right, I mine. Keep looking over here. It's over here. Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be. We know what we know what it is, Joe. Yeah. I hate to tell you. <laughs> no. My number seven is one of the newest games on my list. It is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. And yeah, it's um, a lot of games mm -hmm. are kind of like this, but the theme and the, the how clean the game is helps it a lot. This is on PS4. It is Ghost of Tsushima. Mm. Ghost Man, of you, Tsushima So far, is. you're the person I've played the fewest games <laughs> on your list. This really? game is stunning. This is a beautiful game. I like I said, I mean, just unbelievably faithful to the world, gorgeous. Yeah, there's some... It looks good. It's a little bit of... It, it follows that sort of... I don't know what who did it first. Far Cry. It follows that Far Cry formula. Mm -hmm. Here's an open world. Here's a few interest points. Go do whatever you want. Huh. Go there, you take back the tower, or, you know, like, <coughs> these games are a little formulaic. It's a very good formula to keep yeah. doing it because it's good, but it does follow that. However, you set it in this world, in this setting, and he's got the horse and the weapons and the really satisfying combat, and it's just immersive. It's gorgeous. It's mm -hmm. very, very, very good game. You can t turn some things on. To make the game even more artsy, like artistic, you can, for one thing, you can listen to the entire thing. You can turn on the Japanese. So, like the original really? Japanese, and you just read subtitles. You can also ah, turn on a good. Kurosawa mode in which everything is black and white. And it nah, is. Nah, that's not interesting. Like, again, it's like just, but it's like beautiful. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a piece of art, this game. I don't do either one of those things <clears throat> because the game play is so stinking good. Mm. You know, the sword fights, the riding around, the solving the puzzles, huh. the people you discover, you know. Um, like, you go to a little gr a little village and you have to help them defend from these people who are coming in. So you go prepare them, lose them, and then they come, you slash them up. It's great. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima is a very well-known game. It's very well regarded, so nothing new there. My number seven... Ghost of Tsushima. Oof. Nice. My number seven is going to be a surprise to everybody. What kind of game is it? It's uh, kind of the one I kind of jumped ahead last time. Well, what's the genre? But this is, it, what's that? What's the genre? Genre? Yeah. Stealth? Assassin's Creed. Yeah! <laughs> Got it! All right, this one. Are there this, pirates? Black flag. This, <laughs> this is the one. I could have picked any Assassin's Creed. Um, but this one right here, for some reason, just grabbed me. When you mentioned stealth, that's this is what I think about. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you do go through this game wondering how these people do not turn around when people are dying all around them, and they don't, but they don't turn around. But this one... This is has, one of the highest regarded ones, for sure. I like. I haven't played the Revolutionary War one. So that's the only one I haven't. Movie. You mean three? Yeah, I didn't I didn't. Assassin's Creed 3 is not that good. It's not that good? I don't think so. I think okay. Black Flag is better. This one I like, just be able to take a ship. I remember so many times I'm like, I'm going to take this ship. You try different ways. You try swimming to it. You try swinging over to it. And it's it's really, I really like this game. Is this open this world? Yeah. Ish. Ish, yeah. I mean, you have a direction, but you can deviate a lot, and you do... Yeah, so it's a it's a really good one. So the whole series is great, apparently, except for three. But this is probably my favorite: is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Three is the fine. I mean, it's fine. Three was also like the promise of like new world, new protagonist. We're leaving behind right. Enzio and whoever and whoever, and this is like brand new. It's okay. Mm. okay. I like the newer ones better anyway. When they went full RPG. Yeah. So. Okay, that's seven Black Flag. My number seven is a Fantasy 4X <clears throat> game that uh, I don't know if anybody else has even heard of this. This is Age of Wonders. So this is very similar to uh, Heroes of Might and Magic sort of style game. But basically you have different well, fantasy... The cover's selling me. Wow. Know, right? This is the thing. one that I had what when, was when I was a kid. It, it was on, on a PC. Oh. So me and my friends would play this. Basically PC. you have different fantasy races, whether it's like elves or dwarves or different oh, things like that. Oh my word. 
That looks so much like Heroes of Might and Magic. It's very much like Heroes of wow. Might and Magic. Um, but you would basically build up your civilization, your fantasy civilization, and you go over and take over different towns and build that civilization up more. You build in some units. Um, but whenever you went into combat, you would go into this tactical combat where you had different units with different powers and spells you could cast and blow stuff up. It's Heroes of Might and Magic, right? Okay, yes. So, yeah, it's basically <laughs> that. But this is the, what I had. This is the version that I played as a kid growing up. And I loved this. Like, I loved getting your resources and you huh. had to, like, have all the different stuff and you'd build up your different spell book and have different spells that your, like, guy could cast. You'd go down in, like, dungeons and get, like, extra items for your heroes and things like that. It was a blast to play. This was one of the games that you could actually, it was turn-based. You could actually, you could play it by email. Like, you could send an email to someone and Yo, they would open the file. No. And then they could play. <laughs> so me and my friends would play that way. We'd also, like, all come together, like, at my house what? and just, like, go through turns and we'd each have, like, we'd play, like, a four-player game where we just take turns doing our things. We'd go uh, play video games in another room and then come back and play this on the computer. And we played through whole, like, maps of this to, to, and it was, like, last man standing. So you'd go and kill off all the other players, you know. Have wow. you played Heroes of Might Magic 3? I haven't played those games. This is the one that I played. So yeah, that's I, I in my game, top 20. I love that game. I know this game. game is very similar to those, but, yeah, I love, I love 4X games, and this is one of the reasons for that is Age of Wonders. That They've come out nice. with much newer versions of this. I think they have it on Steam and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, it's huh. just Fantasy 4X. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's cool, but it definitely looks like discount Heroes of My Magic. 3. It might have <laughs> been. I mean, it might have been because I mean, bin. this me and my friends with especially like. PC video games, we would get the disc and we just kind of pass it around to everybody and we'd all download it on our computer sort of thing. Yeah. So, that no, would never no. happen. No. But I could totally no one, see one of no their one parents did that, Roy. being like, like big lots and getting this Roy, big lots. People watching this video. Yes, yes. What's, what word is the seventh line on page 37? <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. Like, get the, like, you have the instruction guide. Of, like, I'd call my friend up. Do you have the instruction book there? <laughs> I need to know the word of page six. I know, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> all right. Uh, my number seven is very similar to the last one, Breath of the Wild, and I like this one a little bit better because I love the theme. Ooh. It's that. This is that Phoenix Greek uh, game. Yeah. Really? More, I really like this. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Wow. So when I first played this, I was like, this is a lot like Breath of the Wild. The more I play, I'm like, it's really like Breath of the Wild, but hmm. the reason I like it better is, first of all, I love the Greek god theme. It's really funny, too. There's a lot of dialogue. I really enjoy it. And. There's more different style monsters. There's cool bosses everywhere. And the weapons, like when you find a unique weapon, it's a unique weapon. That's cool. And it still has like the little puzzle things you need to do, like the shrines in, in uh, Phoenix Rising. But the theme for me really sells this one. And there's also a cool, I, I, I haven't finished it yet, but there's like, I have a downloadable content. I, I download, I'm playing it right now, is the. Um, there's a Japanese one, like, and then there's Japanese guys and stuff like that, and that's really it's cool. It's a follow-up to this or DLC to this? It's a it's a, it's DLC, but it's <clears throat> it starts you over. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Okay, it starts you over. Yeah, and this is uh, this was actually from the same people that made some of the Assassin's Creed games. From really? what I understand, isn't this <clears throat> built on a lot of the Assassin's Creed? I think the it's Assassin's built on Creed the engine? people that made uh, Valhalla. No, sorry, Odyssey. Oh, yeah, the people who built Odyssey, that studio, it's built on assets after that, I believe. Yeah. Oh, nice. But very funny, like you said, very, like, you know, much light harder, much more light harder. Yeah, but, man, there's just so much to explore in this game. So many neat things to find. I really liked it. The world, probably, objectively, Breath of the Wild is a better game. Probably. Uh, and Breath of the Wild is gorgeous, but this one felt more full of life. It felt, again, more, it felt like every single thing was unique. That's While in, in Breath of the Wild, there's points where I thought I climbed over a snow covered mountain to see another snow covered mountain to see another snow covered mountain. You know, it was kind mm. of. What do you have against snow covered mountains? Do you hate them? Majesty. Well, yes, actually. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I guess I'm with you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't there's want to a reason visit. I live in Florida, but anyway, I, I really like this one a lot. Huh. So, Phoenix Rising. I misspelled Phoenix, but what can you do? Tactics. I got that. All right, where are we at here? Number six. Number six is the game that put its company out of business. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. E.T. <coughs> E.T., come on, Z. Here we Bring go. it home with E.T. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you guys have played this. Number six is Kingdoms of Amalur. No, oh, wow, Z, I've, no. I just, I've come to the conclusion I played nothing on your list. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. 
Uh, Good picture though. That's is nice. uh, from was one of those like super bands. It's like the right from from the one of the people who worked on the Elder Scrolls and the writer of like Game of Thrones. Really? And the, <laughs> oh, no. the person who did the, like it's a super group. So no one was the head of their department, but they were all part of something different. Apparently, the company spent a lot of money and then like had to file for bankruptcy and went away. Sounds good. So that looks. You Elder can actually Scrolls. get this. I mean, still, Elder they Scrolls. did a remastering on it, uh, which is called Kingdoms of Valor: Re Reckoning. Ah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that. That's a they, they reissued the game. I haven't played that. I played this on the Xbox 360. And it was what I loved about it. It's a, it's again a fantasy world. Mm. What you'd expect from all those people involved, okay? What I really liked about it was the world building was fantastic, but the combat was <clears throat> not what I expected it to be. It was so fast. It was, it was able to pull off RPG, and then when you got into combat, it was like it's like a, an action game. It's like a fighting game. Huh. It was so fast, it was so lively, it was not, ah, ah, from first person, you know what I mean? It was not Oblivion or, like, Morrowind. Oblivion, I've practiced a long time with my sword thrusts. Yeah, yeah, it's very, uh, very precise. Like, I have a stab and a swing. Stab and swing, yes. Um, so I really like that. I like that the, the action in it was fantastic. The very big world, too. There was a lot in it. It's, you know, it's probably an RPG that you could compare to many other RPGs and say... It's kind of like this other one. It's kind of like that. There's a lot of those. It's kind of mm. like probably that Phoenix Rising game a little bit. But man, did I love it. I played the snot out of it, and I think it uh, it, it holds up, in my opinion. I think mm. it's a really good game. If you haven't played this, get that re-reckoning re one. Give <laughs> re it reckoning You have to re-reckon re this. I want them to remake that one. The re-reckoning. The re-reckoning? Re 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 That's too much. <laughs> I'd like the Yeah, they have plans for an MMO <laughs> world... Does they it? had they had oh, plans. plans for it. Like when this oh, came yeah. out, they were like, "This is the beginning of a whole new thing." Dark universe. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and then they went out of business. Um, oh. So unfortunately, but it's it's wonderful. All yeah. right, that's we don't know this one unless it's Assassin's Creed again. It I'm is guessing. not. No, this one is going back a little bit old school here. This one I actually took off the list not because I didn't like the game, but because of the shame that may follow this. I, oh, this is uh, wonderful. Some of you have probably heard of this game. I don't know if you like it. This is on the NES. This is one that I played way too much, and I was late oh, for school a lot. I was... It's, it's going to be... Is there a character... Is there a person's name in the title? No. Okay, good. No, but this what is... What do you think it was? No, this one is... Leisure this Suit is, Larry? Leisure <laughs> 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 What do you think? Play that and not going to school. That's like a double. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's not leisure shoot. Larry. No, it is. This is what probably as bad. Um, this is <laughs> probably as bad. Bionic Commando. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, man. I played this game a lot. They remade this, the right? Yeah. Oh, well, that is a great 80s game. Oh, so and horrible. I found the most 80s. because They re-released it. I'm like, no, I need the original. This is what it was. I Come on. I love it. That. Wait, I wait, use the gift. gift. Wait, we have animated pictures now in our Yes! I, I had to. I said, I'm like, Mike, you got to use this one. That one, that was the best part of this. Being able to swing with your bionic arm. I don't know how you got it. It's not important. You got it. Move on. No, oh, I, that's his arm. That's not something he's swinging that from. That is his arm. Oh, I can't get over the fact up. that we have animation now in our top ten. It's great. Yeah, we can do it. I'm going to keep it. We're going to hypnotize every single person watching this right now. That's true. This is very hypnotic. This okay. is. So Stare at him. I, Let your mind go black. <laughs> I played this game so much. It is now. You can get this. I mean, it's free on the Switch and all that. So you can play this tonight. Is it See? hard? Like really hard? It is. I never actually finished it, Most but of those old games I could swing. Hard, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah all it those was, platformers. That's why I don't usually go back and play them because oh, I've like sure. <sighs> I've got soft in my old age. This you game know, was the, so good. <laughs> I, yeah, whenever I'm feeling that sort of nostalgic, like let me fire this up and play an old whatever game. This one? You can pull Not it up? this one. I haven't played this. But Leisure again, you started, up, you started up. Larry. You started up and you played five minutes. You died three times in those five minutes. Oh, it's yep. brutal. It's like, all right, I got it out it's, of my system. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, done. They're unforgiving, the old ones. Well, the one that that happens to me is that every once in a while, I'm like, I remember Link, Zelda 2. 
being amazing. Oh, yeah. And I'll play like five minutes of it and I die every time. I'm like, yeah. You have to like stab at like a very the exact split second it's time. It's really difficult. Like, ah, it's such a pain in the neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Breath of the Wild. There you <laughs> go. My number six is a uh, Final Fantasy game, but probably not the one that most people think of when they think of Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy VIII. Because this is the one that I played. It's my favorite out of them. Yeah. I really enjoyed Final <laughs> Fantasy VIII with Squall and all that stuff. The giant cactus. Exactly. Giant cactuses, oh. draining all the, the, the mana out of stuff and, and using that to uh, power yeah, up good. your attacks and things that's like that. I had a blast shot. playing through this game. I really enjoyed it. I know most people give credence to seven more than this, but I played eight. I had the This got so much pre-buzz. Oh, I bet. Because of the whole fact that the guy was carrying a gun sword. <laughs> right, yeah. You that was like this big thing. Well, also, like, it came after seven. It did, right. right. Seven One was of the huge. biggest video games great. ever made. They're like, I mean, they have to keep going, you know what I mean? They're yeah. eight, so. I didn't hate eight. I think eight was fine. I had a hard, uh, an uphill battle. Though, I also you know? enjoyed nine a lot, too, but I eight was the nine. one that I played the most. Nine, though, they kind so. of, re they, they, they went back. Eight and seven, you're like, these are the same people made them. Right, right, right. Nine, they were like, we're redoing everything. Yeah. We're going back to one. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like nine, yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I had a blast with it. I like the story. I mean, all the, the Final Fantasy games. I mean, this could be a placeholder for just like Final Fantasy games in general because I, I enjoy so many of them. But yeah, um, tons and tons of time wasted on these games or spent wisely, um, depending on how you look at it. But I had a blast with them. So uh, Final Fantasy VIII is my number six. There are a couple of these right off my list. Well, let's bring back in the audience by me saying Final Fantasy VII. Oh, wow. there, 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 okay. there we go. There we okay. go. So I, I thought yeah. about this for a while because Final Fantasy VI... I also dearly love that game, mm -hmm. but seven I played through the most. Mm. To the point, I like this game so much that I'm really struggling with the new one. The remake? The remake, because it's a, it's a different game. Oh, for sure. It's like real-time fighting and everything, and the combat system and assigning the materia to the weapons the in seven weapons, yeah. is so interesting to me. It's like, how can I combo this up yeah. and the summons? <clears throat> and yeah, the graphics look terrible today. They do. Um, it's funny because I, I remember when I first mine? played it, I was like, the cutscenes, I was like, wow, the cutscenes are amazing. The cutscenes suck. Yeah. Until you go back to the regular game, and that sucks even more. The yeah. Like, Cloud with his big block arms, and he's here. I just remember being yeah, so excited like about Vector, man. all the summons in these games <laughs> yes. were the most exciting yeah. part. It's like, oh man, I'm doing a but summon. I'll tell you what, yeah. I played through Final Fantasy VII to completion probably ten times. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, and and, and it, I, one time I remember playing through almost straight. It was over the summer in college. I had a weekend. I was like, I'm going to see how far I can get this. I didn't go to, I didn't sleep that night, which is, I can't even imagine doing that now, but man, I love this game. Uh, <laughs> that was a good game. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> no. Okay. So I don't, I, with the, the touch of bad pace would My go. number five. <laughs> a guy came to my house. This is Final Fantasy X. Oh, it was and 10. And there's, there's some mini games in ten that are like just crazy. So I was like, he's like, I can do these for you. I was like, yeah, you come over and do it. And he would sit there for hours doing it. I'd feed him lunch, and he would get me all the super weapons in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I still feel no shame about that. Cause <laughs> that was a pretty cheap thing for me. Tom, Tom was an employer since the beginning. He's like hiring people. <laughs> now we're those people. <laughs> we get paid in lunch. <laughs> It is true. <laughs> now, my number five is my favorite Nintendo 64 game. Okay. And I played a it. lot of Nintendo oh, wow. 64. That's one of my okay. like top three consoles. All right. <clears throat> Star Fox. Goldeneye. 64, no. Ooh, Goldeneye. Goldeneye is a classic. Oh, that's not it. I'll no. still over Goldeneye, too. Like You're not Goldeneye. a Mario Goldeneye guy. Does not, Goldeneye does not hold up that super really? well, I think. No, but man, it, it was the first one when you so could play multiplayer. No, I so played good. a lot of Goldeneye, uh, don't get me wrong. You're not a Mario guy, so it can't be that one. No. And you already said, it could it? It could be. I mean, they, they did have Mario games on there. You didn't put Mario Kart on there, did you? Oh, Mario Kart, yeah. That's 64. It's Paper Mario. Oh! oh that's oh. a good one. The okay. best one of them all. Okay, no, the yeah. best one is Mario RPG for the SNES. Okay. That's SNES, though. This is 64. This was the first okay. Paper Mario, right? This is the first Paper Mario, folks, and mm. it was glorious. It was turn-based battles. Mm. It was... Is this close to JRPG? It is, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it kind is. of a JRPG. Uh, it had, again, the, the turn-based battles <coughs> with a little bit of rhythm, like the timing yeah, yeah. jumps. Like the, Squall Sword. The humor in this, the writing was mm. superb. The world and how they played with the whole... 
everything's made out of paper stuff. Mm. So stinking good. And they've been up and down with the sequels. <clears throat> like they made a, um, let me see, that is Super Paper Mario, I think is what it's called, on the Wii. Very good. I like that one a lot. It was the GameCube first. Then they had the, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the Thousand Year Door on the GameCube. Never played that. Mm. And Super Paper Mario was very good. And then the Origami King is that new one. Paper Mario Origami King, which... Eh. My kids liked it. Yeah. But all right. It's okay. I remember when they first announced this, I thought it was such a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. 2D Paper Mario, I'm like, all right, next. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was not, yeah, I was not necessarily thrilled by the idea either, but it is such a good game. I really like this. I, I would love for them to make <clears> more of these. And this series kind of split off where they kept making Paper Mario games for the home consoles, and then they made a bunch of handheld ones. Right, yeah, yeah. Those Mario and Luigi games are kind of inspired by this, and those are great. So, mm. yeah, Paper Mario, number five for me. Love it. All right, give us Mario Brothers. Here we From go. What arcade. is this going to be? Maybe. No, no, no. Missile Command. This one, this one is, okay, my number five. First of all, when I went to become full-time as a magician, my parents made me get a real job. So I remember working at, like, Sony and Gateway Computers for a flashback, right? Oh, Gateway. Yeah. Gateway with the moon cow? Oh, Gateway yes. Computers, you know? So I worked at Gateway Computers. You put them out of business. But that's what I did. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dell did that. <laughs> <laughs> but I still wanted a gateway computer when I was in college. Because we had the cow, man. But this is the game that I got into at the PC. Every night we'd shut down the store and just play this. And this was Counter Strike. Hmm. And this uh, is okay. Okay. really it's okay. Half Life, but they changed Half Life to make it pretty much Fortnite the way it started. You know, it is just it was a LAN. And oh, he has yes, for scenes like oh, this. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. Counter Strike was was great. I played this so much to the point where this is when you had to do it on a PC. So people had to bring their PCs over. You hook them all up. It was a nightmare. Land but it was party, worth baby. It. Land party. That's where it's out. So this is Counter Strike. I played this a lot, so much to where I did realize playing on the big projectors we tried that gives you a headache. The bigger the screen, if the get, screen gets too big on these, man, if you do eight hours of playing it, you get a headache. But well, this is great. I think eight hours of playing any kind of screen would <laughs> give you guess, a headache. I guess that's true. I'll tell you what, I it played, was a mod originally. I played it Mario oh, nice. Smash Brothers on the big screen, and that's an amazing experience. Is it? Yeah, yeah. See, that doesn't make you puke then. That's, and this was a mod when it first came out. It wasn't like official, but then they just adopted it and came out with it. But this was Counter Strike, my number five. Loved it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, like I liked that. it. My number five is a game that uh, Tom actually mentioned earlier, but this is a Zelda game. This is Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for Super Nintendo. Thank you! I This was my favorite game for the longest time. I love this game, and I played through it and beaten it several times. I love just so much about this game, like running around, going through all the different puzzles and things like that, going through all the different dungeons, Kicks switching chickens. back and forth in between worlds. Hey, don't mess with so chickens fun. in any Zelda game. <laughs> like, yeah, this is this is a blast to play. Yeah, and then there's like a dark world, and you're like jumping right, back and, and you forth have to between your worlds. Like, where to stand and go to the other world, and then go over here and go back, and like there's all yeah, these yeah, yeah. really cool puzzles and all these amazing dungeons. I've played through this so many times and I've just had a blast with it. I love uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And it still might be the best soundtrack of any game. Oh, for sure. It is such yeah. a good... How does it go? Bum, 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 Timing isn't as hard on like when you're stabbing stuff and things like that. So but it's a blast. <clears throat> All right, my number five is the game that I have spent more time on than any other game in my life, I think, except for maybe my number three. Um, and I just played it in front of you a couple weeks ago, and I'm starting it over again. And I'm still waiting for the sequel. Are you kidding me? It's been 11 years, but that's oh, okay. Wow. Because I can play Skyrim again. Oh. I play, and I've also, this might be my most bought game. 
since I, I bought it for the when it first came out for the PC, and then I bought it for whatever other system, and then I bought it for the, the Switch, mm. then I bought it for the PS5. And they're like, oh, we re we have the new edition, the anniversary edition. Yeah. So you bought ah, that a couple times. Oh, I love Escape so much, though. It's this also has a great soundtrack. Yeah. How does it go? <laughs> this one's harder to do. It's the the oomph in the background. It has it's more of a background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Skyrim. Now look, I I didn't play the very first one, but I started in Daggerfall, and Daggerfall blew my mind. This open world. Of course, Daggerfall had random dungeons, which were insane. And then Morrowind, which I know is a lot of people's favorite, but Morrowind I've, I've messed with again. I don't know months ago, a few months ago, and it's like. This is bleak. <laughs> it is bleak. <laughs> world is bleak, man. Well, Oblivion's a little bleak, too, but Skyrim... No, 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 not, not like that the world is dark. Just like, it's kind of empty and like... Just, oh, yeah, Mar I mean? Morrowind like, is empty, but it also Morrowind had some cool alien-esque so stuff in it. It really did, yeah. It had some freaky yeah. stuff, but it's very directionless. They're like, go. I remember I bought it originally on a console. Xbox 360 or yeah. the original Xbox, actually. Yeah, the original Xbox. <clears throat> I got that, and I only played maybe like three hours because I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You need more direction. They tell you nothing. They're like, here's a world, go. That, that is true. But Skyrim <laughs> almost gives you too many directions. They're like, <clears throat> you need to go here to do the main quest. You're like, on my way. They're like, by the way, there's a civil war. You want to join one of the two sides? Don't mind if I do. So you go do that. They're like, would you like to become the master assassin? Yes, please. And then, <laughs> I like I just, that. I, I'd rather I just keep have going that. off of this like curve. There's so many open quests in Skyrim. Though. Ah, <sighs> I, like my current game I'm playing on the PS5. I probably have. 40 open quests See, right now. See, that's the thing. I can yeah. never get anything done in the game. I can always just find rabbit trails and rabbit holes everywhere. And you sometimes do. I just <clears> like, <throat> you know what? I'm just going to walk around and see what happens. Yeah. Yes. And I'll find yeah. a dungeon. I don't have a quest to go in a dungeon. I'm going in anyway. Let's see yeah. what happens. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, I, I love the game. <clears throat> and it has... The first time, and the game's been out 11 years, I don't care about spoilers. The first time you go and you're like, there is another underground world underneath Skyrim, you're like, oh my word, that's so cool. I love yeah. it. Mm. What? Shut up. All right, my number four is also a fairly new game, though they've already got a sequel, I guess. Uh, this is a superhero game for uh, PlayStation. I played it on PlayStation 4, and this is Marvel's Spider-Man. Oh, nice. Ooh. Marvel's okay. Spider-Man mm -hmm. is This is really the one before the one I played on the PS5. What, did you play Miles Morales? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's the sequel okay. to mm. this. They're very similar from what I understand. I haven't played the new one yet. But you are, yes, yeah, swinging around the world, you unlock new things, you follow the main story, but it's an open world too, so you can do, again, it's that formula of, here's a map, there's 28 little points you can go to, and go break up a fight, go uh, take back a location, all that stuff, you know, all the, all, the, all the usual modern tropes. But it really puts you in that world, you really feel like Spider-Man, mm. the swinging is flawless, it's so well done. All the things you can unlock, everything you can get, the different suits, the different powers, leveling up is incredibly satisfying in it. Yeah, the whole thing is, I mean, absolutely stunning. This is, this is one of the very best games on that console for a reason. It's so good. That's my number four. I'd like to try that one. Marvel <coughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, this one unfortunately is exclusive. It is. I think so that, that's kept a lot more people from playing it. Probably. But yeah. man, it's a good game. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. All right, so my number four, I am going back to NES, though. This is my last NES. a lot of good NES games. There's a lot. This one, I had to go OG on this one. Super Mario 3. So good, because if you had put up two, I'd have been like, no. Oh, yeah, there's no option nothing. for two. Yeah. I did think about one, but then I'm like, I got to go three. Three, yeah. though, added to Raccoon Tail. That was awesome. Uh, so, least, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. A little good. Oh, I, I forgot that in these old Marios, there was no continue. There was like, you get what you get. You know, that's why these extra lives were great. I mean, it's... Super Mario 3 was... Look at those graphics. Those are spot on. <laughs> but no, you this feel was... Like you're there. Desert, I want to say it holds up. I don't think it really does. But I think the Mario I've games hold before, up pretty yeah. well. This one would be hard for me to pick over Super Mario World, for example. Yes, World is Right, huge. I do like World. 
this is, but I did, I played this a lot. I still like the raccoon tail on this is great. And do you still remember where all the warp whistles are? No. And that's what's sad. You think you remember, but you don't. You find one, you're proud of yourself. But it's no. Hmm. Apparently, Spider Man is on Steam now, Tom, so there you go. No! I have enough games. Joe, you need did it. Did you pick this picture yourself? Which one? The box cover? I might have. That's definitely the TV series. <laughs> Which is also my favorite TV series. That's the TV series? Okay. Great. <laughs> it was the only non pixelated artwork I could find. That's what happens. Of that yep. Yep. When you go that far back. There you go. That's why you pick mine. It's stuff. colorized. <laughs> For me, my number four is a Game Boy game. Mm. Um, Ooh. Okay. This is a game that none of you guys, I think, are into or have played. I played a lot of Game Boy games. Is it a battler? It is a. Technically a JRPG with a whole bunch of little cute monsters, and that is Pokemon Red. Okay, you're right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I you love say Pokemon. I'm out. I yeah. play Pokemon. I love all the Pokemon games. I played through all <laughs> of the mainline Pokemon one. games, but this one I played through the the Kanto. I played like Fire Red and things like that, and they've done like Let's Go Pikachu, which are like the same versions of this game again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I've had a blast with Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I've played through a ton of the different games, and it's just one of those things where it's like. I mean, it feels very much like a JRPG as you're like going through fighting different levels, going through the different stuff, but building up all of your different characters. They evolve, they get different powers. They, um, you go through a storyline, and and you're going through collecting the Pokemon and battling the Elite Four. Um, it's a blast to play. I play. I had a bunch of other my friends also had the game, so that way we trade back and forth and we battle against each other. When the Game Boys used to have that little cord you connect to each other with. Yes, so you connect with the little cord and plug it I in. I forgot the cord. Trade. And some yeah. of the you Pokemon, could also plug it into a printer. The Game right. Boy printer, remember that? Yes. And some of the Pokemon wouldn't even evolve unless you traded them to somebody. So you'd have to be like, hey, I'm going to trade you my Pokemon, but trade it right back, please. You know, so that way I can evolve them. So we do Did a bunch you ever of that steal one from me? No, because they were like oh. actually my friends as opposed to like random people. But I remember going to uh, Books a Million and like playing against, a, like playing in like a little tournament with the Game Boy game <clears> back <throat> in the day against a bunch of wow. other people. Um, I had a blast with Pokemon. I still really enjoy a bunch of the Pokemon stuff, and I played. I'm te I gave uh, Scarlet and Violet to my kids for Christmas. So all the Pokemon games. But yeah, that's my number four. I played wow. so one of the. I don't know. I know <coughs> Red and Blue were the OGs, right? Right, right, yeah. I don't know which ones I played. It's definitely around this time because it's none of this newer what stuff. What system was it on then? It was it was handheld, so it was probably this or blue. Well, I mean, they had it on this, and they went to color with with Pikachu. It might have been on went color, to, yeah. To Adva Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Advance SP. And I never had an Advance, Advance or an SP. I had a color, so it might have been something on color. Yeah, the Pikachu one was the it had was the Pokemon Yellow or whatever. Maybe was that's the color it. one. It's been so long, I barely remember it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, as if you can tell by now, my favorite genre is open world. And this one here is my favorite open world and I think is one of my favorite storylines in any games. I didn't put the sequel because I haven't finished the sequel yet. Ooh. But I like the protagonist of this game. I think the graphics are cool and I like dinosaurs. Mm. And this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my word. There's a couple mm. things I like about Horizon Zero Dawn. One is I like the robotic dinosaurs. I think that's really cool. That is good. I think the story is fantastic I... with really strong beats throughout it. Like some yeah. there's a there's a really cool cinematic sequence that happens at at a pretty late sequence in the story, which is just amazing. I love I it. I played I it's have in an arena, this. and it just—it's so good. I have this. It's good. It's, it's like—it's a shame I have not gone back because I played like twenty minutes. I don't know why, because again, the game was stunning, like you said. But even those first twenty minutes, there's something that happens very early on in the game, where it's again, this is the very first few minutes where she's like. It's cave people looking people, you know what I mean? Mm, sure. And she's going through a cavern and finding this, and she comes across something stuck on a skeleton. And it's a piece of tech, very, very advanced tech. And the cinematics and the cutscene and the world that that draws you into, and her being like, ah, what is that? And like taking it and putting it on herself. Yeah. And like it goes, doo -doo -doo -boom, and you see like all these things that she now can see. It was like, it gave me chills. I was like, this is so incredibly well done. Wow. And wow. the other reason I like it is the fighting system's so fun because 
you can say, okay, I'm going to be an archer and shoot all kinds of weird, cool arrows, or I'm going to go in for hand-to-hand -hand combat, or I'm going to set traps for these dinosaurs, go up to be like, ah, and the dinosaur runs after you and it you hits the traps. I love that because you can pick like a fighting style like and the that. upgrades. You That's can cool. tame these things and then ride some of them or get them to fight on your side or just get them to go fight someone else. Like two giant dinosaurs. I'm like, hey, you take him out. Got it. And sit back and be like, ah, it's a beautiful day today. Yes. I love it. Great game. Hmm. Yeah, I got to get into this. Yeah, it's really world. good. And then the sequel does feel almost like a direct sequel. I, I'm, I didn't play it like, this is so much better. It just feels like more of the world. Okay. okay. You know? I like that. So um, I do need to get back to it, but I really like this game. Yeah. All right, my number three is the first crossover on this list. I believe we haven't had a crossover yet. No, I was surprised. Oh, wow. With you. Uh, we even played most of the games on my list, so I'm going to go with Skyrim. Skyrim. Yes! Ooh. Most rolled up. Double game. <laughs> anyway, uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is fantastic, like Tom said. I have I like these games. I like open world, or even, even just Western RPGs. I like better than the JRPGs for the most part. I think JRPGs are kind of stuck in a rut a little hmm. bit. Yeah. I feel like they've done the same things to the fact, to the point that now JRPGs are almost exclusively defined as being retro. Like, they're, like, just basically all the good ones they make now are, like, referencing their old stuff. You're right, that one that I was just playing, and <clears throat> it's a newer game, but... All the new ones are like, ooh, a new JRPG. And, you know, like, 99 mm. out, of, out of 100 times, that thing's pixelated, and it looks like an old JRPG. Yeah. And so I like these a little bit better. I like that they're pushing the envelope with the... The look, the vibe, the feel. I just like them a little better. Not that this is that new, like Tom said. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, Skyrim is wonderful. You've all probably played it on three systems. Are, are yeah. you are you interested in Starfield? Yeah, super. Oh, Starfield come is out coming out from the same people, but oh, it's wow. in space. Yeah, and you go to different planets, yeah. like open world planets. I'm like, that just sounds so oh, cool. Man. Man. Oh, shit, I can't wait. It's yeah. unbelievable. Anyway, there you go. That's my number three. All right, my number three Here we go. is the reason that Z's number three is not on my list because it got trumped by this one. This is Wait. open world. I do love open world. An open world game that's better than. S I like this better. Is than it Skyrim. still fantasy? No. It is. Fallout you mentioned Four Western. Or something? It is Western. Oh, Red, oh, Red, Red Dead Redemption. Redemption. Red Dead Redemption Two. Two. Oh wow. This, I have not played this. Is Ooh. It? It's so good. The characters are so well written. The world you can go into is enormous. And the character upgrades you can get in it, I mean, when once you get them, you just want to play for hours. Like, the oh, Iron wow. Sights upgrade is like, oh, you so upgrade that, this. and it's so good. And then the fact that I like to go, I like to be a good person in games, right? I'm doing the good things, I'm a marshal, I'm all that. I'm hearing you a butt. What? I, you can throw on a mask, and then you can go <laughs> rob the bank, and because you've got a mask on. Are they you kidding me? No, it's great. Oh, so Marshall robbing the you bank. You can get your entire posse to all wear masks, and you can go <laughs> rob things, and then you can go back to being a marshal. It's so good. <laughs> can, can I play two without playing one? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They're very similar, but it's, yeah, this is... Oh, it's just great. The graphics are gorgeous, and you just and honestly, there are so many side quests and things you can go off on the tangents. But this one is just going out and exploring and getting things. Just living in the world is what is so great about this game. Yeah, That's awesome. I haven't played two. I played one. Yeah, I knew, that you, I knew that they were unrelated, really. But like you can play two without playing one. Right. But it does have that lived-in feel. I think it you're does. right. Yeah, you can you can sort of feel like it's a world that. I can ride in that direction and come across something. Yeah. It's the quests are almost secondary. That's the thing. It's like, okay, I want to do them eventually. I'll find another quest if I go this way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so cool. it's it's really good. I like this a lot. 
Mm. So that is my number three. Red I'm going to have to play it as well. I got to so finish Horizon good. first. But ah, ah. so good, so good. Oh, and if you look up deaths, how many great ways there are to kill people in this game? <laughs> I've seen oh, so that. So good. There's a lot of oh, and, so, and the physics in this are incredible. Have you robbed the train in it? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Marshall hasn't. <laughs> a guy in a mask did. <laughs> it's That's so awesome. good. So good. All right. Red Dead Redemption Two. So I, number three <coughs> is a uh, Mario game, the best Mario game. This is Super Mario RPG. Yep. Oh, okay. Is, uh, stars, okay. yeah. Yeah, I, I love this game. I originally, the first time I played this game, I borrowed it from Blockbuster and played a little bit of it. And then I finally got a copy of my own was actually be able to play through the whole thing. But You yeah, still have it because it's very valuable and rare. I, I got it for around like 50 bucks or whatever and then sold it for like 100, I think. But yeah, it's it's like a it's a great game. It's a blast to play. I love that. I mean, you never got to see like Gino. I made sure to have a picture with Gino and Mello in it, just because like those are such iconic characters in this game, and you never really see them in any other games. The Square uh, owns yeah, those characters. They, yeah, the Square owns those characters, and they've never been able to put out another one of these because they never had that Nintendo Square collaboration the same way. And this was Bowser at his most being a good guy. <laughs> I know you got to have Bowser on your team. You got to have Princess Peach on your team. You got to mix up which characters you wanted to fight with, and it was just it was just a great game. Game, and I loved playing through it. Very JRPG, ton yes. of fun to play. Had that whole same timing thing as yep. Paper Mario yep. and and um, Final Fantasy VIII or whatever has. They had know. the isometric thing was so mind blowing. You know, like the where you everything is on a grid that is you know at forty five degrees mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. So you got like the grid thing, and you're like, oh, it's amazing. Three like, D, <laughs> like, man. Cuberdish. Well, I'll know? tell you what. Yeah. When this came out, though. This and Donkey Kong Country. Right. Yeah. Both oh, made me go. Oh, oh, man. I was like, I didn't know the NES, the Super NES could look this good. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then this was like, and then the, the, like two months later, they're like, also oh, here's the 64. Right. But it was amazing. I don't know how they fit this game or Donkey Kong Country on a cartridge. Yeah. For mm -hmm. these games. It was so impressive. Mm -hmm. Such a good game. But yeah. All right, my number three. Oh, then we're getting to stuff that people know. This has been a game I played my, for the last. 26 years now. Um, but this one, this is the latest version, and that's Civilization VI. Mm -hmm. yep. I yep. cannot not put a Civ game on here. I'm not going to put them all on here, but Civ VI is my favorite. And for those asking, six is my favorite, then four, then two, then one, three, five. And everyone has different opinions on which ones. Um, but Civilization VI, and I, you know what, I could play four also very easily because I really like so four. Five is your least favorite. It is. And then six is your favorite. It is. That's what it. happened That's is big. five is probably my least favorite because it deviated so much from four. They're like, we're going to go hexagons. We're going to change. And I didn't like those changes, but then they they got smoother and better, I thought, with six. Interesting. Okay. 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 Gotcha. But... I'm still, I don't know that they've announced seven yet. It's We're getting close to about where they should be. Sid Meier's busy. Yeah. But yeah, Civilization, I just, there's something about it. I love controlling a Civilization. I like mm. each time I can, I play differently. I like this time I'm going to do, there's only one concept between every Civ game I've ever played, and that's where I will beat that crap out of Gandhi. Every time. <laughs> I he betrayed me back in college, and I've never forgotten it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. That is true. Whenever Tom wants to blow off steam, like, you're going to go beat up on Gandhi today? <laughs> I actually do say that to him. More than anyone has said that well, to him. Well, you know what else. happened? One of the Siths, I forget which one, there was a bug in the system, so and they, Gandhi, Gandhi was, was very mad, aggressive and everything. And even now in the newer ones, you'll be like, it. you know, sometimes the best form of peace is, you know, to have a big pile of weapons. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Let's get along together. And I stab <laughs> him in the back every time. <laughs> every time. He never learns. <laughs> so, anyhow. I just, I, I, but, but I like just, I just like the world, but I love the tech trees. Yeah, yeah. Every time, I play it so many times, we're like, I got the wheel again. It's exciting every time. Or the first time you get gunpowder, you're like, Bring it on, world. <laughs> Gunpowder. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, someone asked me about. <clears throat> someone asked if I played Spore, and I have played Spore, and it's it's really interesting for a brief time, but it, it, they tried yeah. to do too much in one game, and it's so, so all the parts that were interesting, but no single part was amazing. Mm. I don't think I've ever played a Civ game. What? Yeah. Ugh. I played RTS games. 
Uh, it's very gotcha. different. Yeah, but Civ, I don't think I ever have. I want to try this. I can just yeah. get that on Steam. It's probably on sale every other week. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, 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 good. I'll, I want to mess with that. All right, my number one game. Two. two game. Not one, two. My number one, uh, my number two <laughs> game is related to a, a, a game that Joey mentioned. What? This is an Assassin's Creed game. Oh, interesting. This is my favorite yeah. of the ones I've played, obviously. You Assassin's Creed fun? Origins oh, was the first one really? that went full RPG, mm -hmm. and it is glorious. Really? It's a great setting for one thing. So it's ancient Egypt. So I like that setting. Games. What? Games? No, you said you didn't like games that force you to sneak. There's no sneaking in this anymore. It's oh. an RPG now. What? This is now like you do whatever you want. Oh, so like, you're they took a year off. The, uh, the Assassin's Creed games were like. A yearly affair, right? Like mm -hmm. every year they came out with one, right. like clockwork. Well, they took a break, and when they came back with Origins, the game was completely different. It's now a fully open world game, and I mean fully open. Like, oh, dag. It's enormous. Really? It is. He's on a horse. You can. He's on a camel, I'm pretty sure. But Doesn't can, matter. But you can be it's on a, a horse. horse. <laughs> um, it is fully <laughs> open world. Story. You can gain weapons. You level up. It's a. Full, it's an RPG. It's like a full on mm. RPG. Think Breath of the Wild kind of game. Oh wow. Or okay. whatever. I love the setting, the world, the things you can do, all of the crazy uh, quests you can go on. As you unlock the world, you realize, oh, that was a piece of that. Mm. And then you unlock another one, and you're like, oh, this is three times as big as that. And then you unlock something else, and then you zoom out, and you go, oh, this is the entirety of, like, a part of the world. Like, you don't even see the pyramids for, like, 15 hours. Oh, that's crazy. And then eventually, you, like, ride up on them, and it's like, it's the pyramids of Egypt. That's it's, cool. It's, like, yeah. insane. I yeah, mean, yeah. Um, yeah, this game is fantastic. I know some people are probably going to say, like, oh, Odyssey or Valhalla are better, <laughs> which are the, the next two that came out after they went full RPG. I haven't played that stuff. This has kept me busy. Oh, uh, cool. And I've got and probably 100 hours kind of left in this game. Honestly, it's enormous. I love mm. it. So there you wow. go. Origins. Okay. All right, my number two here. Um, it is, let's see here. This is a weird game that came out it's in a series of games. This one came out, and it was actually going to be easier than the ones, the predecessors. And for some reason, that simplicity, it wasn't simple, but there was a way to level up. This is on the PlayStation. This is the reason why one of yours is not on my list that you had. This one, What's I What's the game that's, that's not, that I have that's not on your list? Well, um, Super Metroid. Oh, is this a Castlevania game? This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, Look good. at that. Um, yeah. good. You're, you're Pandering to the audience. This one, <laughs> <laughs> this one right here is on my list only because this one you could do so much. This one was simpler in the fact that Castlevania 3 was hard. Two Simon's Quest was like weird. First one was great. Because You're right. The they were one. really hard before this. It was really hard. And this one, it's still hard, but it has that kind of RPG feel where you can go level up. If it's too hard for you to beat a boss, then you go out in the woods in sort of an open wheel. You grind a little bit. You grind a little bit. You level up so you're a bit stronger than you should be when you go up to the boss. Mm -hmm. And then nice. it makes it a bit By easier. The way, all games should do that. I love that. I agree. Oh, for sure. Now, did the halfway point blow your mind the first time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's still one of the best moments in any game. It really is. I don't know what happens. I mean, when you change, yeah, it's, there's a moment when okay, it changes. Okay, it's like 80 years yeah, old. Right. No, okay, so you, you, you play through the big, you play through this big gigantic castle. Yeah. Halfway through, you think you've won, and they're like, nah, and then they flip the whole thing upside down, and you're playing through it upside down now. And backwards. It, yeah. No, upside no, down, upside not down. backwards. Okay, so they flipped the whole castle upside down. Yeah, so now the, the ceiling's the four, and now you can get in place you couldn't get in before. It's really weird. Do you it's backtrack, cool. though? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... It, there are two characters in here you play. Alucard is one of them, I remember that. I forgot the other guy's name that you're chasing, which is Dracula's son. Is one Yeah, of what was his name? Uh, I forgot. He was the main reason you thought you were Simon there. Simon wasn't in this game, right? No. But it was, oh, there's so much to like about this game. It was really, and I like the old Castlevania series. 
itself. You know, okay. game series. I haven't seen the TV thing or Netflix, or whatever. But um, yeah, it's great. And you can then different ways you can do different things. You can go full magic, full weapons. It had an RPG type feel. Mm -hmm. More so than the last one. Simon's Quest, I almost quit. I wasn't crazy. But it incorporates parts of Simon's Quest in it because there are times when you can go and you collect five parts of Dracula to go ahead and bring them together, which is what the entire Simon's Quest game was about. And anyway, it pulls in, it kind of pulls everything in. That's why I kind of like this game. And it's, it didn't get traction until later. But you can get it for 10 bucks now. The DS versions of this, the, the, the ones that follow this were pretty good too. Were they? Yeah, I like them. Yeah. What did you play this on originally? PlayStation? PlayStation. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's, yeah. Which is now, like I said, it's 10 bucks you can get it. Yeah, the guy was now. Dr. Acula. <laughs> 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 Richard Belmont. Richard Belmont, yeah. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, okay. Richard Belmont. Okay. My number two is a uh, open world RPG. It'll probably be higher on someone else's list, but I really enjoy this game. This is the one that kind of, it's made by the same people who make Skyrim, but this is post-apocalyptic. This is Fallout 3. I oh! You're picking, you're picking Fallout. three over four? I haven't played four, and I, I'm definitely picking three over four. I've played through all of this. Like, I, I played through this. I played through all the DLC content for it. I played massive amounts of Fallout 3. I love Fallout 3. I love going through Megaton City and going through all the different stuff, exploring stuff. I played a lot of New Vegas as well, but this one was That's way it. more open, and it just had a lot more stuff going on. Is this the one in DC? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, so you're running around doing all the different stuff, exploring. I love, I grew up playing uh, Game World, which is like a post-apocalyptic role-playing game. This gave me a lot of vibes of that, having power armor and all that stuff and running around with different weapons. I love Fallout. I love, like, all the different stuff going through the game and just the morality system and, like, trying to figure out if you can be sneaky and steal stuff or, or like, picking locks and things, going through all the different things. I just love <coughs> Fallout 3, so it's a blast to play, so... All the stim packs. Stim pack it all. All the stim packs. But yeah. I haven't played this mile. I played a little bit. I remember when I first played, I was like, I'm going to go sightseeing in Washington, D.C. because I just want to go see stuff. But if you go Things anywhere important, they kill you. I'm almost to the Capitol building. Yeah. You're dead. You have no, to. No, there's a lot of mutants out there. You, you can't go out there. Yeah. yeah. All right. My number two breaks every rule of what I like in games, mm -hmm. and yet it still made it all the way to my number two. I don't like games that are too hard. Mm -hmm. I don't like games that have dark themes. Ooh. I and yet I didn't play any of the pre previews in this and I still won't, but this is Elden Ring. Mm. Okay, and all right. Elden Ring this is it's so such mm -hmm. an amazing I don't I'll play, about I have it to so play much. it. I, 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 I want to play this. I, I played it because it. Oh, these things are terrible. I <laughs> I played it because I just when I first heard about like new Dark Souls game, they're like open world. I'm like I don't care. But for a while, I don't know if you guys remember on Facebook, I'm pretty sure it was required by law that every other post was about Elden Ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then everyone was talking about it, and then I was like, all right, I'll play this game. Mm. And You've I died the same so fits. fast walking really? out the opening. There's like a tutorial cavern which I died in. And but, <laughs> but that, in the tutorial? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I was learning how to fight because they, they they teach you a little bit in the tutorial cavern. And then they teach you nothing else. <laughs> nothing. There's like really important stuff that you have to discover either by accident or by using the internet. I use the internet. Um, wow. Like there's a horse in the game. They don't tell you how to get this horse. I'm listening. You know, and it, it's, it's kind of crazy. These games are like pride themselves on being obtuse they, and hard. Okay. It's very. Much I don't about, get like, that. Is it very much about just timing stuff perfectly? It for is all about the timing, but happily with Elder Ring it does that one thing I like, where I walk into this cave and there's a boss who beats the snot out of me, and I'm like, nah. And then I just go and level up for a really long time. And I come back, I'm like, do you remember me? When you first walk out, that <laughs> no, when you first walk Vengeance out, Vengeance shall be mine. When remember you, me? Do you remember me? <laughs> No, it's true though. When you first walk out the tutorial cave, there's a knight on a horse there. I'm like, oh, a knight. Let's bring it. That knight's like, you shouldn't fight him until you're like level 40. Holy smokes. <laughs> because he just walks up to you, he goes, boom, and you are dead. And my kids, I, my kids would sit on the couch, and it was like Comedy Central. I'd be playing, I'd be like, okay, I got this guy. Boom, and they're laughing. The guy just chucks me off a bridge or whatever. <laughs> I would run. I was like running through a lake, and suddenly a dragon comes out of nowhere and eats you. But it's so fun because the world is huge, and it's different. You do not know what you're going to find. You could find like an amazing thing in the corner, and you can run through really hard areas. And because you run in this game a lot, basically my biggest defense is like, 
and you run through a hard area and grab a cool weapon and then get out of dodge. Oh, I love it. I love it. I really do. It's oh. and and let's see that person there says it's actually not that hard. Lie. <laughs> it's hard. It's <laughs> super hard. And I shout out to a listener because the game does. One of our viewers came in. And you can jump into someone else's world to help them. And he helped me beat the first one. And he explained all the things. He's like, how come you're not doing this? And I was like, I didn't know I could. <laughs> and that helped me a lot. Did you give him food? Do you think there was a lot of carryover <laughs> from the other games that people who went into this game just knew? Like the older games? Or... Some, but, but no, but I mean, like, how you get your horse, I mean, oh, gotcha, yeah, people yeah. go around and they do stupid stuff and discover everything, and then right. they tell everybody else. Gotcha, that's But, cool. oh, I, I really, really like it. It's cool. I still don't have a clue what's going on in the story. None of it makes sense to me. I don't even care. Don't try to explain to me. It makes no <laughs> sense. I'm just fine going around finding weird giant hands and other weird creatures that you fight. So, Elden Ring, I love it. All right. <laughs> My number one it's a is crossover. a crossover with, with Roy. me. Roy. Oh, I know his number one is. He loves this game. Uh, Fallout I love it too. 3. It's amazing. Mm, okay. I've played Vegas, New <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I've played 4. My number one is Fallout 3. It's still really? the best Not one. Really? Not 4. 4 is good, but 3 is so... <clears throat> it was so revolutionary. Oh, it's sure. so well done. 4 has amazing things in it. But it also pulls focus a little bit by having you do the whole building. A settlement thing? Yeah, like settlement yeah. building is part of four. And it's fine, okay. but it does pull focus a little bit. This one's purer, you know, it's more straightforward. Um, I love the setting, I love the theme, I love what the things you can do, I love the strange things you come across mm -hmm. in this world. I remember distinctly at one point I played this. I don't know, 150 hours I put into it, I put it down, I went away. I came back to it maybe a year and a half later. I was like, let me fire up some Fallout 3. I fired it up, I started walking in a random direction, and within like three minutes came across a hut and some lady in it gave me a quest. I'm like, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. This game is like, the, the, it's, it's, it's bottomless. It like never oh, ends. Sure. It's unbelievable to me. And I just love that. So, <laughs> wait, wait, hold up now. Hold up. Vegas? It's the best. Then three, then four, then Gandhi. <laughs> and then Fallout 76. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my number one game of all time, Fallout 3. Mm. The best. All right. It's a mess. Yep. So I had to stick stick it to going old school here. We got but this one this one I spent a year pretty this much. This is your favorite game this. ever. This is my favorite game. The favorite newest game. game on your list was Black Flag? It was. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, I guess it was. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Red Dead Red Redemption, Redemption, Redemption 2 is, two, I think is yeah. Newer, yeah. But see, again, I dive into games and I play those only and then I go through. But um, this one is older. This one I played in college. This one I played for probably a year straight and pretty much all of us played it in this. This is one of the first MMORPGs. Mm. Ultima Online. Ultima Online. Oh, wow. This one. Oh, my respect for you has gone up so much. This one right here, I got to tell you, I played this so much and learned so much playing this. This was... About human nature. Oh, man. I got to tell you, you find out, you go to a dungeon, you'll fight for six, seven hours, get on the stuff. Then you realize, if I just kill the people coming out of the dungeon, <laughs> it's a lot easier. Wait, you're one of them. Did you ready to do that? Oh, but, but then they eliminate... Were you wearing a mask? <laughs> was it? Doesn't but count then, if you're wearing a mask. But then the best part is they would eliminate player killing so you couldn't kill other players. And you can throw up gates, right? So I get a gate, the deepest, darkest part of the dungeon, right? People are fighting. I'm like, hey, I'll throw up a gate to town if you guys are going to town. I'm like, sure. And they go right in, and you'd see all these ghosts come out, and I just go get their stuff. What it is was wrong a great, with them? Not a proud moment. Griefing, griefing in an MMORPG this, is like a thing. My respect, yeah. oh, all my respect that I said went up is gone. Okay, but oh, wait. You're like then, horrible. No, that was games. only occasionally, but then I also found out <laughs> you also could not attack people in town, right? 
if I attacked you, a guard would show up instant death, right? Yes, of course. And if I attacked both of you somehow, like something like your range spell, get both of you, two guards would show up, right? Okay. So I'm like, all right, this was back when lag was a thing. You're all on like, you're, you're lagging. So I'm in the bank where you have like 300 <laughs> people, right? And I'm like, I wonder what's gonna happen. So I just take all my clothes off so I don't lose anything because you're gonna die. So Deposit I Deposit it in the bank. I cast Earthquake and I just heard all the people in the bank, right? Whole thing just freezes. Because <laughs> 200 guards over. show up. One guard for each person I hurt. And it's just like, it was like 15 minutes the whole server just people moving like this. You have losing so much respect for each story. Such a proud when he moment. showed the game, you're like, but, you gained respect. Now let me, let me respect. ask you this. Did you ever good. spend real world money on it? I didn't. I was tempted to a lot. If I had it, I would have spent it. But I used to, that's why I learned about macros, by the way. When you do a macro. <laughs> no, no, I want. You didn't do macros? Of course I did, but my uh. macros, actually I didn't do macros. I got a roll of pennies. Oh no. <laughs> and would hold keys down on the keyboard so my guy would keep doing the same thing over and over again. So to level up, you had to cast a spell over and over and over and over. It's ridiculous. So you just set it down and you just let it, and you just walk away. So the guy would just sit there. So you'd walk up to try to talk to people and they'd just be doing this <laughs> all the time. And you're like, what are you doing? It's like they're ignoring me. <laughs> just going. Yeah, but if a mod caught you doing that, then they'd they, yeah, they, So you'd go in the woods and do it. So you'd see people in the woods. And do Hide it. your shame and in you the woods. You know they're leveling up. Wow. And he, what <laughs> is going on? <laughs> it was, the MMORPGs are crazy. It was fantastic. So they fixed a lot of things since then that you can't do. Oh, but geez. that was. Go in the uh, woods let me ask you this. Do it. So in that this game, great. you could be in, I think, 10 different. Universes, yes. Right? Things. Yes. So they would do things like at <laughs> Christmas, they would give you a cool item yeah, yeah. that's really valuable. So I would go to all ten and get the item, and then spend the next few days trading you the valuable item in this universe, <laughs> the only one I cared about. Like I'll give you this in this universe if you give me yours in that universe. So you would have ten of them in one universe then, because okay. they're very valuable. And stuff. Really. Yeah, I well that's that. legit, and everyone that got is. that transaction happy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody died, okay? They were all right. I, I gave them a trip back, oh my but it goodness. was... Yeah, There's probably people chat right now who are like, it was you! <laughs> I know, that'd be great. <laughs> it, was, it was rough, but that was, man, so many good memories playing that game. For that you. Was For <laughs> it was fantastic. It, I, I enjoyed it so much, but... I am so burned out on this type of th I'm a, this game is almost it makes me afraid to play any multiplayer online it, game now. It's I so jumped, addictive. I jumped from this into EverQuest because people were leaving this, going to EverQuest, and by that time I'm like, you know what, I just You jumped to the wrong one. It was I, World of Warcraft. Oh, I did do that too. I did WoW well for a while. And it's just but this one is where I always had that feeling of mm. it was Then you got married and had kids. Then I can no longer invest a year into this again. <laughs> Someday. Maybe. So my number one is a crossover with Tom. That's I, this right. Is a, this I know is what a, it is. This isn't too much of a surprise. This is uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I love Breath of the Wild. I love Zelda. Um, this game is just amazing. It's, I, this kind of replaced Skyrim for me a bit just because it's open world. It's doing stuff. I love puzzles in Zelda. I love the shrines. Like I love being like, there's a shrine I haven't done. Like Let me go do that. Let me unlock some stuff, get things. How many it's, shrines are in the game? Tons and tons. Uh, it's a total, like, it's like it's somewhere between eighty and hundred. I, I think. think it's like okay. around hundred with all the yeah, okay, DLC okay. Stuff, but, but there's <laughs> you don't know how many of those little doofus seed things are in the game. Nine hundred ninety nine. That's crazy. I yeah. will never get them all. But yeah, I've had a okay, blast good. with this game, and it's just so fun. I mean, the the weapons thing doesn't bother me. I enjoy like the crafting, and everybody like if you played the game and you've done the cooking at all, you just have that etched in your brain, the little noise it makes, the little musical jingle. Oh, the, when you do, ding, ding, I do ding, have that ding, sound. Ding, ding, ding. You know, it's just so so fun and <laughs> just a blast of a game and I just have loved playing Breath of the Wild. I really can't wait for the next game to come out. Um, I actually should go back and play this some more before that one comes out just to refresh, you know, but it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try this one. 120, thank you. There's 120 shrines. Oh, nice. More than I thought. I said 100, between 80 and 100. I was wrong. Wow. No. I have okay, not stuff. done them all, but I've done most of them. That's really so good. So 61. And each time you do one, you can get stamina or you can get life. Well, those you get rewards for doing it. The seeds, the rewards go down. After a while, they're like, you need 40 more seeds to get to the next level. Oh, right, right. You need 80. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, just, for real. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, my number one has been my number one since I played it. And I played it on the PS, PlayStation, for a long time. And now I played it on my 
on my uh, iPad, and that is Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm. Okay. It is an amazing <coughs> game. It is yeah. so close to a board game. And I know people are telling me there's another one that's similar to it. I forget the name of it, which I have not yet played. But, hmm. Yeah, you, this is when you said a while ago, I've played this so much. I just played it recently. I played like hours. Like I put this much time into them. Like, oh, okay, Final Fantasy Tactics. And then mm -hmm. you said Skyrim. Those are my two. I'm like, right? oh, okay, this is coming then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics. I played through this one a ton, and it's it's just each character in this game. So you get a little group of characters, and you go through and you will fight on a on these these tactical <laughs> the tears of Gandhi. <laughs> um, you go through and you'll fight on a on a tactical battlefield, a, a battle, mm -hmm. and you there's a set number of battles. I think it's only 50, but you could do these random battles forever. And as you level up, you level up in classes and then you can switch to another class. And so and I think there's what there's like 15 classes. It's great. You guys aren't listening to me, you're reading the comments. But <laughs> No one's listening but to you right now. You like Tom. this more than seven? I've watched you play this a bunch. This is not like the other Final Fantasy. Right. This is very different. This has a very first this of all like the a, story is like, like a, a first one or no? Game. This is totally different. No, this is, is a nothing. Tactics game is fully different. Huh. It's a tactic game. Like you have a group of guys and you f move around in the battlefield and fight. Yeah. It's like chess. And you really? level them up in between like and they'll turn dudes. into different types of characters it's and things like unbelievably that. unbelievably good. It I'm has a very Shakespearean then. story behind it. It's a really good story. You ever mm. played any of these tactical games like this? No. Played XCOM? Yeah, okay. I it's XCOM-like, right. kind of, sort of. Yeah, yeah. It's the closest thing I can give you that's quick. That's huh. true. By the way, XCOM was in my top 20. All right, ask us where the games oh, are that we didn't put in our top 10 list. We'll give you a quick chance. Why didn't nobody mm -hmm. have... No, Grand Theft Auto. I don't like that. Grand Theft Auto 3 is one I've played a lot. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, I like that. I'm a good guy. I can't. I can't. I really want to put Dragon Warrior. Because I have read that. Dragon Warrior? It's another JRPG or whatever, but it's yeah. like old, 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 old school. I, I played through all of Dragon Warrior and love that. Final Fantasy 7 was just off my list. Yeah. I do uh, like the one I was talking about is Octopath Traveler that I forgot. Oh, yeah. Octopath Traveler I like Octopath is like Traveler. easily like top 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Ogre amazing. Battle. Yes, Final Fantasy Tactics is very similar to Ogre I Battle. I played a lot of Ogre Battle. Knights of the Old Republic. Day. I do like Knights yeah. of the Old Republic. I do like. Ooh. And somebody mentioned this. I do like Jade Empire better, <clears throat> which was not Star Wars. So, mm. I, I, and it had a cool. XCOM's in my top games, man. I love XCOM. I just, mm. it just didn't make the top ten. But man, somebody mentioned Friday the Thirteenth NES. I actually backed on Kickstarter hardbound unofficial walkthrough for it. So I actually beat that recently. Went back, finished it. Mm -hmm. Friday the 13th on NES. That was a good one. Mass movie. Effect, uh, somebody said Mass Missed. Effect. Mass Effect 2 is in my top 20. Yeah. I like I like <coughs> games and things like DDR and Guitar Hero and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's just not high enough to make my top 10, you know. System so. Shock, somebody said System Shock. Bioshock, the first one, is oh, in my top really good, 20. Yeah. And I haven't done God of War. Borderlands 2, I enjoy that, but I look at it more like a guilty pleasure. Mm. By the way, someone mentioned Slay the Spire. I didn't include any game that, to me, feels clearly a board game. So, right. that, Hearthstone, yeah, things like that. I don't consider those video games. They're, they're board games on the iPad or whatever you play them on. Uncharted is good. Diablo 2, Diablo 3. Yeah. Actually, Diablo, Diablo 2 I've been playing a lot of. If you, I got it on the Xbox. And you, it's a really cool thing because it's a remastered, Diablo 2 remastered. And you can press a single button on the controller and it changes the look from the remaster to the original look. Anywhere. Oh, and I'm stuck nice. doing that more than I am playing the game. Oh. I'll walk to a new place and I'm like, I wonder how crappy this looked. <laughs> I press it and I'm like, ah, it's horrible. And I'll play like that for a while and then switch it back and I'm like, Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Keep going. That's fantastic. What is with you? It's amazing. Oh. Crazy Taxi. Yes, Crazy, Crazy Taxi I'll play like <laughs> at an arcade. It's on Quake. I, like Quake. I really liked Portal and Portal 2 as well. Just the puzzles in those are really yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. God of War 2018 Baldur's is Gate amazing. Baldur's Gate is amazing. Yeah. Yes, I love Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 2, though, is better. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. yeah Mass was... Effect 2 I mentioned. Uh, never played Okami. Yes, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Yes, mm -hmm. played that so much. Tiberian Sun actually is my go-to. Well, what's your favorite Mario game? That's Mario esque. And, and our Mario RPG is really a different game. It's really. a very different game. Um, it's just Mario esque. I mean, I like some of the newer ones. I like the 3D World one a lot. It was fun. I think so. the newest one is my favorite, actually. The, the Odyssey? hat one, Odyssey. Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played that a bit, but. 
It was all over the place. After that's probably bit. World. World is so good. Yeah. Oh, actually, Mario Maker is pretty solid. That, yeah, that Mario Maker 2 too. is... Yeah, that's, 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 that's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Playing, dude, like it feels football. like playing the old games, right? You can so. download people's levels, right? Right, yeah. Yes. So it's like endless. Yes, for sure. But the one that gets the most play, I think, Mario Kart, I still... People will still sit there and play that. Mario Kart I have lost Mario Kart. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, no. i try. You don't like any of those? Oh, I like uh, really Pitfall. Mortal Kombat, I love uh, Street Pitfall. Fighter 2, that stuff? Yeah. I liked a lot oh, of that stuff. That's a good stuff, game. I beat Z in Street Fighter 2. You did. But yeah, I just, I like the, the, the massive amounts of characters Tomb as Raider. opposed to smaller ones. Uh, but yeah, I, I played like, for a about while Raider. there. I played the a Super few, Nintendo one had a bunch of characters. I was, it used to be a little bit more into those fighting games. I was never good at them, but I played like some of the weirder ones, like Guilty I, Gear. I like Killer Instinct. Killer I Instinct, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mortal Kombat wasn't on the news list either. That's because Mortal Kombat's a bad fighting game. What? Fable. Fable's a good first. call. That's in my top 20 as mm. well. I put that on the short list. The Dr. First Mario. Oh, man. <sighs> the music for Dr. Mario was in the new Mario movie. I haven't seen it yet. Well, Are you I'm at? not spoiling anything for you. All right. Well, All right, folks. We're going to get going here. So many This is games. the last live thing we have this week because we are prepping for next week, Monday. Mm -hmm. Board game breakfast right here that starts the Spring Spectacular. Four yep. straight days of live nice. gaming. We have all of us and the Dice Tower staff here. Brian and Carla Drake are coming in, as well as the famous, <gasps> the illustrious, <gasps> what? Michael Delisio. No. Snap. Which means uh, you won't be in our show next week. I'm in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to move. We'll have two big guys come and pick the chair up and take you out. <laughs> That's me too, come though, in, isn't it? Dust it off, <laughs> Mr. Delisio. Please sit <laughs> in suits. <laughs> we have to. <sighs> anyway, he needs a comfortable chair. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Roy Kenny. I'm Z Garcia. Boop, 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 boop.